Microsoft and Xbox are shutting down four game studios according to Bloomberg's Jason Scryer. Those four studios closing are Arcane Austin, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog Studios, and Roadhouse Games, all subsidiaries of ZeniMax. This is also coming on the heels of Bethesda France, a marketing arm of Bethesda, being shut down as well. Arcane Austin and Roadhouse Games both recently developed and launched Redfall in 2023, a game that was received with mixed reviews since launch. Tango Gameworks' most recent title was the well-received Hi-Fi Rush in 2023, receiving praise such as being one of the best Xbox games in recent years, while also being the studio behind Ghostwire Tokyo in the Evil Within franchise. Lastly, Alpha Dog is a studio known primarily for mobile games, their most recent being Doom Mighty. In an email obtained by IGN, which I'll post on my community page, Xbox Game Studios head Matt Booty said that the decision comes due to the reprioritization of titles and resources at Microsoft. Quote, Today I'm sharing changes we are making at our Bethesda Xenomax teams. These changes are grounded in prioritizing high-impact titles and further investing in Bethesda's portfolio of blockbuster games, which you have nurtured over many years. To double down on these franchises and invest to build new ones requires us to look across the businesses to identify the opportunities that are best positioned for success. This reprioritization of titles and resources means a few teams will be realigned to others and that some of our colleagues will be leaving us. And based on just that excerpt alone, we can see that Microsoft has taken the fallout fever to a sad conclusion. Booty continues to say that some members of the team at Arcane Austin will be moving to other studios within Bethesda, while the most recent update to Redfall will be the game's last as all development is being ended. Quote, These changes are not a reflection of creativity and skill of the talented individuals at these teams or the risks that they took to try new ones. I acknowledge that these changes are also disruptive to the various support teams across Zenimax and Bethesda that bring our games to the market. We are making these tough decisions to create capacity to increase investment in other parts of our portfolio and focus on our priority games. In a statement on Twitter after the announcement, Arcane Austin thanked all of its employees and players for the games it made while clarifying that Redfall servers will remain online. Quote, Today it was announced that Arcane Austin will close and development will not continue on Redfall. To everyone that has supported the work from our Austin studio over the years, thank you. Thank you for spending time in our worlds and making them your own. Arcane Lion will continue their focus on immersive experiences where they are hard at work on their upcoming projects. While there will be no further updates, Redfall servers will remain online for players to enjoy. In a series of tweets, Arcane Lion chief Dinga Bakaba hit out at the cuts, calling them absolutely terrible. Quote, to any executive reading this, friendly reminder that video games are an entertainment cultural industry and your business as a corporation is to take care of your artists and entertainers and help them create value for you. Don't throw us in a gold fever gambits. Don't use us as straw men for miscalculation blind spots. Don't make our work environments Darwinist jungles. You say we make you proud when we make good games. Make us proud when times are tough and we know you can. We've seen it before. For now, great teams are sunsetting before our eyes again, and it's a effing gut stab. Lion is safe, but please be tactful and discerning about all this and respect affected folks' voice. And leave it room to be heard. It's their story to tell, their feelings to express. But the $3 trillion company Microsoft had promised that they were going to lay off 1,900 employees especially after its costly legal battles and acquisition of Activision Blizzard. As stated before, with the recent failures either in reviews with Redfall and Mighty Doom, or the underperformance of Hi-Fi Rush, and the wild success of the Fallout TV series, and the explosion of users following the television series, playing one of the many highly touted Fallout games, it made Microsoft's job, sadly, a little easier. Most of these employees will be let go, as stated, but some will find a second life in Bethesda, jump-starting the Fallout, Elder Scrolls, and Starfield franchises. Because it's time for Microsoft to start milking.